Good morning and welcome to the Wavy Digital Desk. I'm your host, Sarah Gu. Today we're going to be talking about a new series uh, featuring the ODU students. Now there's nine students featured in this. Today we're gonna be speaking with one who's gonna talk about her experience filming and also at ODU. Now the show is not available yet on Amazon Prime, but it is available on ODU. I have it linked in the bio if you're on YouTube or if you're on Facebook, it's linked right there in the chat. Now I wanted to bring on um, Elam Aljampour who's gonna speak with us today about her studies. Now she's in the PhD program, kinesiology and rehabilitation and we're going to talk about her experience on the show but also the story that she shares on the show so I'm going to bring her on now Ellie thanks so much for joining us this morning thank you so much for having me absolutely well thank you so much for sharing your story sharing your journey you know people tuning in right now aren't going to have seen the episode yet but after this hopefully they they go take a look but I just wanted to get started by saying first what started all of this? How did you start to get involved with making your story visible, I guess, in this TV series? So um, I can say like every time I, someone asks about my personality, the first thing I want to say about myself is I'm a, a storyteller. And when I saw that uh, email from ODU that they asked us that, hey, if you have uh, your story and if you like to share your story, we have this opportunity on Amazon Prime that uh, you can be in the college tour series of ODU. So I was like, wow, this is exciting. So um, I sent that two minutes video for them and then like after two weeks they reach out to me that hey we think that your story is uh, interesting and we can have you on the ODU on college tour. Yeah. That's amazing and you know let's get into your story a little bit so your story I think you know stood out to me because of obviously also your background in moving and the personal side of your story so can you just tell us a little bit about you know prior to actually deciding to go to ODU, just tell me a little bit about, you know, where you're from and what sort of led to that decision. So I'm from Iran originally, and like I can say, I really can't say a point that led me to that because like, as I said in my segment, like being a scientist is the only thing that I feel like I know how to be because because of my father, because I was most of the time with him and I can say that I kind of grew up in the university with him. So like as a he was always a role model for me and I I think I it was always my passion to be a scientist and uh, especially like in my field I really like biomechanics and right now I'm working on the effect of aging, which is like something unavoidable. And I like to see all of this amazing result of my research. And the fact that I came to ODU, it's because this um, unique opportunity in ODU, uh, the fact that is that the kinesiology and rehabilitation, you can find this measure uh, at ODU uh, at, in the America only at two universities, which one of them is ODU. So like, um, then I applied for it. Uh, I was like, wow, this is great because I like the fact that this uh, combination of kinesiology and rehabilitation together and the fact that my supervisor was working on aging, which, which I am very really passionate about. So yeah, that was like the entire, like the, the day that I got my admission or the day that I was applying for ODU, I didn't have any idea about ODU or like Hampton Roads area or even this country. I just wanted to do this PhD in kinesiology and rehabilitation. But when I came here, I realized that uh, not only I'm in a very unique program, but I am also in a very unique area and in a very unique university. And tell me a little bit about that. So, I mean, it seems like a really brave decision. Obviously, you're passionate about what you do to be able to both leave your home and your family and be able to, you know, move here with the passion for exactly what you said for your studies. When you got here, what was it about the area that was interesting to you or that was exciting to you? Because ODU really is a university in Norfolk and in this larger community. 
was really hard. Like, I can't remember the day that I left all of my family, especially my husband, in the Air Force. And I came here. I couldn't really believe what I'm doing with my life, you know? Uh, like, at some point in the uh, in my flight, I was like, am I stupid? Like, what I'm doing? Like, how it's going to be? But then when I came here, I had, like, some connection from people from my country because I like I search about to see like if I can find somebody but when I came here they introduced me to a very like interesting group uh, they call like a global student venture that like their job is to help international people in the area which is like very amazing like I can remember the day that I got my apartment so I was so sad deeply because I was like, this is my first apartment in the U.S. And I really wanted to have this experience with my husband, like both of us together. But like at the same time that I was about to cry, somebody called me and I saw a truck in front of my apartment and it was from those uh, global student venture and they were like, hey, we knew that you are getting your apartment today. We brought you some free furniture and we wanted to help you. We know that you are alone and we don't want you to feel alone at this day. And that was just amazing. I just forget that I wanted to cry. <laughs> like they came, they helped me. And like everybody at ODU and this in this area, like they try to support you in any ways they can. So I think this is so precious. And I was like talking to my family and to my husband those days and they were like surprised by this hospital hospitality and all of this kindness that I received from the people in this area, which I feel like I am so fortunate. <laughs> Wow. I mean, I, I found your story so moving, as I said, you know, throughout your journey and being so brave not only to move here by yourself, but also study. So to have that, I guess, warmth and, you know, love and, and I guess belonging from the place that you've chosen to go must have been pretty special. Yeah, it was very special. And like, um, all of this experience that we had because uh, my husband came here like three months after I came here. But like the day that he came, he came here as an F2 visa, which uh, technically on F2 visa, you can't work, you can't do anything. You're just here as a dependent of your spouse. But like from the first day, like we saw kindness from everybody here and they tried to help him. They tried to help us actually to like move forward for one year. Um, like we were on only my stipend, which was really hard financially. But like I can say that that was the hardest year in my life but at the same time the sweetest year in my life because i was we my husband and i we were on that hardship but at the same time we had a lot of kind people that they were a stranger to us but they welcomed us and yeah that was just amazing <laughs> And in terms of your studies, too, I mean, how is that progressing? What year are you in now? Can you just tell us a little bit about, you know, what's the plan right now? So I feel like I'm in, in a very good <laughs> point in my study, too. So uh, I just, uh, like, this semester, I finished my candidacy exam. So I'm a PhD candidate now, and I have two more years in my program to finish my PhD but like I'm um, in kind of in the middle of my research and like with this amazing group that we have at ODU in kinesiology and rehabilitation, my supervisor, Dr. Russell, and like all of my friends and classmates, lab mates, uh, I was able to finish the first round of my data collection and um, I was able to go to many like professional conferences and I got a lot of good feedback about my research because the current decade is the national decade of uh, healthy aging and my research is on healthy aging and all of the impact of aging on human movement and um, 
I feel like uh, the result that I am uh, like getting from my research is really important for the society and I'm so happy that I'm here and doing all of this good stuff. <laughs> Yeah, no, absolutely. And I, I think that it, it showcases to, again, your passion for this, that you sort of just hit the ground running as soon as you got here and were sort of able to move through this with the focus, as you said, um, you know, talking about aging and talking about these things, which, I mean, I guess I'm curious, is there something different in the United States versus, you know, back home for you in Iran about aging and about rehabilitation and kinesiology that's different or the same you know is is it take a little bit of a different perspective when you get here to sort of learn things maybe in this culture that's a very good question so I feel like um here people like um care more about um aging and like to have this healthy aging process and um, but it's interesting that, like, before coming here, I was always thinking that, like, because I did another project in Iran on aging, and I was thinking that maybe this process is different in uh, in America, and, like, people are healthier, and effect of aging is, like, a little bit less than what I can see in Iran. But, like, at the end of the day, I realized that, aging affects you like no matter like how is your life and style and how you treat yourself but like aging is there and because like many researchers have this perspective that if you try to stay healthy if you try to stay active all of these things like aging cannot affect you but it's like it can still affect you, but in different ways. And like, maybe you can like kind of decrease the uh, severe, severity of the effects. But like, I feel like people here care more about their lifestyle. Yeah. Right. I mean, and you see like that in, you know, who participate in my research. Oh no, but you see that, you see it in pop culture, right? In the United States as well, you know, this focus on aging and, and especially with looking like you're aging, you know, that's a different side of it. But I think it's really interesting because we know, you know, that people lose their muscle, you know, as they get older and we know that they lose, you know, some of that strength. So, you know, it's such an interesting area of study really that you're focusing on here. Um, and it's great to hear that you're a PhD candidate. And now that you have like two more years of, of your research, I guess I'm curious too, you know, in, in doing this show, right, it focuses on nine students and everybody has a vastly different experience. Some are focused more on their studies. Some are focused more on their extracurricular activities to sort of show this, you know, I guess whole culture that is Old Dominion University. How important do you think it is, you know, for people maybe looking at this school or looking at places to go study to be able to see these different perspectives, these different degrees? I think it's really important because I can talk about my experience when I got my admission from ODU. So I didn't have any idea about the place that I'm going to. And I searched a lot and I couldn't find like that much information. But I feel like having this episode for future students can help them to kind of realize uh, how would be their experience and at least give them like some sort of like comfort that the place is going to be nice and like the experience is going to be nice. And like, I think it's really important because like when I was coming here, I had like uh, different opportunities in different countries to go to, but I decided to come here, but I still, I wasn't still sure if my uh, choice is the like best choice that I can have. Right, absolutely. But I feel like this video, this kind of videos I, and I hope like even ODU try to have more of this, like uh, to kind of help future students. It's all about promotion, right? So when you have these stories and when you have these people talking about their experience, it can give 
a future student the perspective that they are coming to a good place. Right. And not every student obviously can do a visit on campus or do a meet and greet with other students. I mean, especially you weren't going to travel, I imagine, you know, to the United States to do all of these visits. So to have something like this that can show you what on campus is like, I think, you know, will mean wonders. I think it's also cost prohibitive, you know, for people to do a ton of different visits, even within the United States. Exactly. So, I feel um, this is a very good opportunity for ODU to like, and I wish like we could have more um, segment for the graduate students because ODU has great opportunities for graduate students, graduate programs, a lot of like well equipped labs. But I understand that this college tour is more for like those who are going to undergrad programs and they want to start their college, but. I feel like it's still ODU can promote and make these videos for the graduate programs too. Absolutely. And, you know, as this sort of takes off both on their website, but then on Amazon Prime on May 28th is when it debuts, just to put that out there again, you know, hopefully they'll get, you know, good feedback from that, but also maybe interest from students wanting to hear about different degrees, as you said, maybe graduate programs, PhD programs to get more information, maybe in those, you know, upper levels of study. And then I do want to ask too, I know that you were led by your passion to find ODU and to find a program that worked for the area that you wanted to study. What would you recommend to somebody that maybe is in your shoes? They're also, whether, you know, maybe it's not science, but if they have a field that they're interested in, What would you recommend to them? I guess you and your example weren't, I guess, squared in or boxed in to only look at certain countries. It seems like you were sort of looking across the globe, but yeah, just share what advice you might have. Like if I wanted to talk about all the limitations that I have, like I I feel like we should talk until like midnight, (laughs) but like, uh, but at the same time, I feel like life is the same kind of for everybody. Like we all have our own limitations to when it comes to following our passion and our heart. But I just wanted to say that if you want to do something, try to do it if you are really passionate about. And I feel like when you are in a right track of like following your heart and your passion, like it's kind of like words help you, support you, and take you back to, like, go through all of that. And I feel like everything you wanted to do is hard. So if this hardship is there anyways, let's just be, let's just have this hardship towards what you are passionate about. Because then at the end of the day, it's a trade-off between what you are passionate about and all of those hardships that you receive in your pathway so yeah life is hard and many things can come to your way but I feel like all of this hardship if you try to overcome and later can turn to um good feeling and um fortunate and um ease in your life yeah, so I like the life that I have right now. But if I uh, if I didn't have those hardships, if I wasn't brave enough to leave everything I had and um, just come here, I never be here right now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's Sorry that's, for my broken English. No, but. that was it was beautifully said, and I think you know, to anyone watching, I'm sure they can feel both your passion, but your bravery, you know, in, in saying that and thinking that. And thank you for being so honest. You know, people in it, you know, obviously know that it's not easy to make these decisions, but as you said, it's part of that process. You know, to have that success and the level that you have now, um, and. I mean, you're being so humble, but obviously your, you know, degree is, is a huge um, success, you know, to anyone to reach that level of sort of mastery in your field. And so I think, you know, it's 
people watching, hopefully that gives them a little support if they just needed a boost, maybe even to go back to higher education and get those degrees. Hopefully your story influences somebody or inspires somebody to make those decisions, which I think is a really interesting piece of, you know, this ODU College Tour program. I know it's to give people an idea of ODU, but I think that your story is very inspiring, you know, for anyone, and it can relate across multiple areas of study and also multiple universities. Thank you so much. Yeah, I feel like like all of those stories in the college tour, they were all inspiring. And the good thing about it was that they tried to choose people with different stories. So like all nine of those students are unique in terms of their story, but uh, I feel like that's a beautiful things about ODU and this area, which is very diverse and you can see many inspiring people. And I feel like I am nothing comparing to all of these beautiful stories that you can see every day at ODU, many amazing students and beautiful people. <laughs> Well, it's great to hear your experience, Ellie, and, you know, to anyone watching this um, now or watching this later, I do want to say you can see your full story and also the stories of the nine students in total on Oldman University. You'll be able to see the full episode um, of the college tour on Amazon later in May, but go and see more about Ellie's story at the link there. But um, Ellie, thank you so much for joining me this morning to talk about your experience and, and your you know journey really through the education at ODU. Thank you so much. Thank you for this amazing opportunity. Absolutely. Well, thank you to everyone watching and we'll see you next time.